Hi guys, good morning. So today I'm glad to discuss another interview questions. So please watch until end of the question. So we are going to discuss another interesting question that is that explain me the SQL query execution flow. Generally, if you start with this, right, if you understand this, basically we do have a multiple clauses. Select from join way group by having order by. These are the SQL clauses are available. So if the interviewer wanted to check with you whether you have a basic knowledge on SQL or not, okay, they are going to ask you this kind of question. So I considering this, okay, whenever you see this, right? So by default, you think, okay, we are going to first execute the select, after that, we are going to execute the from or join, after that, we are going to execute the where clause. But here, understand this, okay, whenever you execute. Whenever you are going to execute the SQL query, right? First, let's discuss this. Okay, let's go to sample data. Not sample data because it is a we can't go ahead and explain this in a practical execution. Let's understand. This is the way it is going to work. First, think logically. Whenever you think logically, first, whenever before executing, either you are going to filter the data or group by or having or select order by right. First, you always go in, go in and reading the data, reading the data. To read the data, right, from clause is the one which we are going to read the data from, either from table or view. Okay, after that, we are going to, we are going to filter the data. Once we read the data from table, after that, we are going to, we are going to, we are going to filter the data, read the table or view. Okay, then after that, you are going to, you are going to do the, you are going to do the filter. Filter means, it's kind of, you are going to do, filter the data at row level, row level. Once you have done that, right, group by is the class, which is going to, which is going to do the grouping of the data based on column values, based on column values. Suppose, if you have a department ID in employee table. You are going ahead and you are going to do the grouping based on department ID, based on department ID. Let's understand this. Let's understand this. If you wanted to group it, right? Here we have an ID. You can go ahead and do the grouping. Okay. One, how many values are there? Two unique values are there. One is 10, another is 20. Okay. If you can ask me, how can we do grouping? Using group by how many records will come from 10? We can see five records. For 20, we can see only one record this is the way you are going to do the group group by once you have done group by but on top of it if you wanted to filter the data on top of it if you wanted to filter the data where clause is not going to work where clause always it works based on the based on the row level but here you are already grouping the data based on group by clause so so what you have to do you have to do basically you have to use the having clause, group the data, grouping the data. Next, having clause is you are going to filter the data, filter the grouping data, filter the grouping data. Okay, then once you have done this, okay, you are going to select, which means you are going to project the data. Once you select all the data, okay, after that, it is good, you have to do ascending order or descending order. Okay, select is the clause which is going to pull the data after performing all the operation of after performing all the clauses. First, it is going to execute the from clause, where clause, group by having. After that, we are going to execute the select clause. Select clause. After that, order by, which means once you select the data, you are going to do the ascending order or descending order. Ascending order or descending order. Ascending means smallest to largest. Descending means largest to smallest. This is the way SQL query will execute. So here you need to remember one more thing. Okay, whenever you read the data, right? Either from class or join class. Okay, both will work same way, same way. Okay, from means it's kind of if you use join, right? Multiple tables you are going to join together. That is the reason from only first executes from or join. Okay, from along with join can execute at a time. After that only remaining clauses will execute. So to simply say that this is the order of execution. First from, after that way, after that group by, after that having, after that 
select after that order by will execute thank you so much guys for supporting and liking the content